Tesla, yep, it only took six minutes to get to Tesla. Investors uh, getting a little surprised today when the company announced plans to offer $2 billion worth of common stock. This in an underwritten deal. Shares initially took a hit on the news. Also, the whole market was down this morning, but they have since reversed their losses. This, of course, follows CEO Elon Musk saying only two weeks ago that Tesla had no plans to raise any more capital. Definitely two different camps in here. The stock, though, is higher right now. Why not raise capital if you can at this level? Should have raised more. Should have yeah. raised more, and you should have done it at 968. And the I mean, this 810 is fine, but right? Why not 10 billion? Yeah, I think the shorts should be happy, even though th there was a reversal today. They're just going to have that more many shares to borrow. There you go. Yeah, there way. you go. Uh, keep, there's keep a silver cost, lining behind. Keep your costs down. There's a silver lining to everything. Yeah, but uh, so. Seriously, I'm looking at why do they need the money? Well, we know they were in a cash crunch before. Interestingly, I just read a report today, PwC, so somebody picked apart their last 10K, PwC is their auditor. Mm -hmm. uh, they came out, they, they were somewhat hesitant and cautious about the warranty reserves that Tesla has. Um, in other words, not being enough. They, they have to be modeled. They hired some, expert, some outside experts. They said they were based on a number of assumptions. Uh, I got the, t I got the um, idea that those reserves might be too low. So, you know, multiply that by a few other line items, mm -hmm. it's easy to see how they would need a few extra billion dollars cash in the future, and why not do it now when the share price is still relatively on fire? Well, and I think if you look at um, just what happened last year, many people would be surprised, now not people who follow the stock, but I think people who are swooping in today and looking at the company's, um, you know, income statement, balance sheet, whatever you want to take a look at, although I know looking at actual fundamentals is a little passe in this market. Uh, their CapEx was down uh, about $800 million last year, $1.3 billion in CapEx. They were over two in 2018. And so um, I, I think the question around Tesla's 2019 going into it was, why would this company be growing if they're spending less to invest in new cars and new factories? Well, they seem to have pulled that off, but certainly a business that's still at a growth stage like Tesla could use more capital. Um, I mean, this is what the stock market's for. It's just not the way that any company really uses the stock market these days. Predict you don't usually get this reaction. Yeah. Predicting how much money Tesla is going to need to spend is difficult. It's erratic. We keep talking about the Shanghai factory, but they've got Germany coming. They have Texas coming. Why not? It, it, if you can raise money, you want to do it when things are good, yeah. not when things are bad. And base, it, it, people were talking about the stock being in a bubble before. It looked parabolic, yes, but individual stocks oftentimes do this. They'll accelerate, go parabolic, they'll consolidate and go higher. And the opposite is Tilray. I mean, we were, we were watching Tilray yeah. crash uh, when it crashed, and it, it lost something like two-thirds in a few days. Tesla's really holding on to yeah. a lot of its gains, at least two-thirds. Well, what's the old adage, right? Any asset corrects either for, through price or through time. time. So uh, the longer that this goes on, that test, I mean, we've, I mean, it's now been what, four days, five days since Kathy Wood joined us. And we joked each day since that her 750 is the new floor yep. was a joke. But each day that goes by, <laughs> that the stock it's trades above out. 750, you know, the more that it ends up being true. Wait so till 3, there you go. Floor. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, a, a lot going on with Tesla as always. And I think just a reminder, um, at Above all else, it plays by its own rules, right? It, well, you can see in the react, because this is not how a stock would usually react. When right. you're saying, well, you're all going to be diluted. Yeah. Your stock usually doesn't go up. I know. I mean, it like. It plays by its own rules. What are they issuing? They're issuing like 1% of the market cap, basically. That's a little still... bit, like 2% of the market cap in the stock. I mean, the stock wouldn't have been off that much with that kind of dilution anyway, but yeah. to see people buy it more enthusiastically is, is really something. Yeah, I agree. Hey, investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up-to-the-minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance, and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.